Hello, today I want to just get my final verdict of Joe's fate and what I really think is going to happen, well, what has happened to him and what we're going to expect in Mafia 3. This will be my final say on Joe until the game comes out on Friday. So let's just get straight into it. As you all know, Joe Barbaro is Vito Scaletta's best friend. And as you know, that Vito is the protagonist of Mafia 2 and is a lieutenant in Mafia 3. So at the end of Mafia 2, he has a spoiler in case you want to go and play it. Joe, well, we don't really know what happens to Joe. He gets in a car and drives away. But here are the events leading up to this. Joe and Vito bring Henry Tomasino into the Falcone family. They conduct a drug deal with the Triads, which was a very big no-no in the Mafia and the mob. So Mr. Wong has Henry killed, as Mr. Wong finds out that Henry is in fact a rat, and Joe and Vito get revenge for Henry, who is now dead, by killing Mr. Wong. And that sparks off a war with the mob and all the Triads in the city, and also leading to Vito to be tasked by Leo, from the triads in good faith to kill Falcone in exchange for him to live. So when he does that, he kills Falcone, and at the end, Joe is then driven down a different street, like a, on a different road to Vito, and we'll obviously find out that he wasn't quote unquote part of the deal. So obviously, Joe's life was not guaranteed that he would survive, unlike Vito, who is also <laughs> who is guaranteed to survive, seeing as Leo. Um, worked out a deal for him. So, we well, obviously don't know what happened to Joe, like his status is unknown, so here are the possible outcomes that I've came up with. So here's the plain out outcome one, plain simple. Joe was given over the triads as good faith for Wong's death, as you know Joe killed Mr. Wong, and Vito didn't, so Joe was then killed for Wong by Mr. Chu's men, and as you know Mr. Chu is the leader of the triads. But that is just, it's just too plain and simple for Mafia, I think. As Joe being one of the fan favourites and a major character in Mafia 2, they would like make his death something big and it wouldn't like happen off screen. It, Mafia is known for its on screen deaths, so I would really think that that was not the case and possibly could be a different outcome to that, but that was possibly it's still an outcome. So, outcome 2. Leo wants to punish Vito for his actions, seeing as Vito has became a bit of a nomad doing what he wants and working with the triads, going behind Leo's back and stuff. So Leo has Joe killed by the Vinci men driving him and, think, and making Vito think that the triads are like, that he's given Joe over to the triads, instead he's killing them himself just to teach Vito um, not to um, go off course and do what he wants. So he's putting, he's basically like a dog, he's teaching him like a dog, like how you would scold a dog for doing something wrong, and as he's scolding Vito for doing something wrong by killing his best friend. But the fact that Leo could have Vito believe that Joe's death, but exiles him out of Empire Base similar to what Vito gets, and Joe is in fact alive and could be trying to find Vito in New Bordeaux, but my opinion on that is quite unrealistic, seeing as it was like, it wouldn't be realistic for them to both get off free, seeing as they've killed a higher up member in the triads and they've been <laughs> causing trouble throughout the whole city and getting off scot free. So, uh, it, it's still a possibility, but not a very good one. Leading on to outcome three, Joe is given to the triads once again in good faith for Wong's death instead of being killed. Joe is mutilated or handicapped, being left to live his life in shame or scarred, as he could possibly believe that Vito gave him up and wants revenge. It is quite possible, seeing as um, the triads think that mutilation or handicap is better than just killing them. So it is possible that Joe, Joe was once like scarred or shamed by losing a limb or getting scarred on his face or something. But it's the fact that Joe doesn't know that Vito didn't know that was going to happen. So it could be the fact that Joe might think that Vito gave him up and wants revenge. And leading to him f trying to find Vito to get revenge. That would be quite interesting. It's possible. It's possible. Quite interesting. Leading on to the final outcome for... I think this one is a bit far-fetched, but... 
So finally, Alchem 4. Unknown to Vito, Joe is spared by Don Vinci and Leo instead is forced into working with them, similar to Vito's uh, status, and going to Lost Heaven instead of New Bordeaux, keeping an eye on the Salieri family, similar to what Vito is doing with the Marcano. So, once again, as Vito is working with Lincoln, he reads the news about New Bordeaux, and this is towards Vito's death in Mafia 3, and he finds out about Vito's death and he tracks down Lincoln and joins his family taking Vito's place in the family and then he becomes part of Lincoln's um, mob. But here's something I've pointed out in a previous video once and this was for Vito Skeletor's little description and at the end it says and revenge for a lifelong friend. That lifelong friend is in fact Joe Barbro but it wouldn't have revenge if something didn't happen to him so obviously something has happened to him and that's why I'm trying to speculate what it is. But my final verdict is outcome free. It's known that the triads are ruthless, obviously, like I've said, like um, cutting the hands off and mutilating someone or scarring them. So to live with the shame is worse than killing them. So obviously Joe would want to escape Empire Bay after being mutilated or scarred to get away from the triads and all what's happened there. And Joe would want a revenge against Vito, thinking that he'd given him up. Like I said once again, um, Vito doesn't, well, Joe doesn't know that Vito didn't know about what was going to happen to Joe, if that made sense. So it would be quite interesting to see the outcome of that. So here are some important points to talk about the um, the outcome and why. It's, it's It could be quite interesting to see at the end of Mafia 3. So, it would be an interesting twist to see how a lifelong friend kill another one through a misunderstanding showing how two best friends change throughout the years with the Mafia. That would be an ending that played with your emotions, seeing as you played as Joe and Vito when they were younger and they were really close as best friends, and seeing Joe kill Vito or Vito kill Joe, jeez that's going to play with your emotions. And at the bottom here it says that he's a fan favourite, so obviously he's going to come back so the fans would obviously play the game and seem want to see Joe one of the favorite characters back in the game with Vito but as well the Mafia people have played with emotions before seeing as we've had Vito kill Tommy and Tommy was the protagonist of Mafia 1 that was oh. so it would be quite interesting to see two best friends kill each other who we've played as it would be it would be amazing I would love that ending but once again, this is my full opinion, and that is probably the verdict I'm going to stick with. And please tell us about what you think is going to happen with Joe in the comments. And like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.